inside of this case is everything you need to get into FPV with an interesting little twist. Today we're going to talk about the Beta FPV Aquila 16 and all the components that go into this all-in-one FPV kit. Stay tuned. So this is the Aquila 16 from Beta FPV and it is a ducted flyer built for a beginner. And I thought, you know what? I'm not a beginner, but I do run a drone club where we're teaching kids to fly FPV. I brought this to them to see what they thought of this drone. Uh, before I get into that, let me tell you what we have here. So we have a, a whoop style drone here. This design here was absolutely inspired by the DJI Avada, one of my favorite uh, FPV drones and probably the easiest one to fly. And what makes that one really easy to fly is what makes this one really easy to fly. And that is the ability to have some altitude hold. It, it kind of sets the altitude for you. So you don't have to worry about that up and down axis. That is where beginners really tend to struggle. And that is what really sets this little drone apart because it has a built-in barometer. I believe that's what's helping it adjusts uh, its altitude so it'll stay level while you're flying. Now you can turn that off and fly in basically a standard angle mode. And you can even put it into full on manual mode and fly this thing acro. So you can learn how to fly and kind of progress through the FPV hobby with this little drone. It has brushless uh, 1102 19,000 kV motors. They pack a nice little punch pushing these tri-blade props. Uh, I haven't broken a propeller yet or neither did any of the students uh, because this ducted design is actually pretty solid. It's a little bit heavier and thicker than most. Uh, this is like an injection molded plastic um, and it's fairly rigid. Uh, so it does a nice job of protecting this drone. It is an analog camera connected to an analog analog VTX and you can get up to 200 meters of range uh, kind of before you run out of video. It's a CO2 camera, which is fine. It's a standard kind of whip style camera. It comes with large uh, 1100 milliamp hour batteries. And they have a BT 2.0 connector and they just kind of slide into place just like that. Now they do say you can connect this with a 650 milliamp hour battery. Just, uh, you, you just use a battery strap and then they have these connectors that they include. Um, you know, so if you want to fly acro, uh, you can do that. Now this battery will give you about eight minutes of flight time. You're going to about basically cut it in half on a 650. Sensor here on the bottom along with the built-in barometer, I think is what is making this thing so easy to fly. I can't say how much that altitude control makes a difference for a beginner. It just really does. And then as they kind of progress and they want a little more freedom flying, they switch that off into standard angle mode. And we absolutely did that. I was able to watch the students kind of progress and fly throughout the day. Let's talk about some of the other components you get in here. This is a battery checker and also a battery charger. You can charge two batteries at once and it'll also tell you the current voltage on that, on at least one of those batteries, which is really nice. Uh, so you know if you need to charge it or not. These are the VR03 goggles that you get with the kit. And the important thing is they have an SD card slot so you can record your flights. They're pretty easy to use. I don't like changing channels. I wish it was just a quick press of the button, but um, you know, it's a little bit more involved than that. And they charge via USB-C, so that's really kind of nice, as does everything in this kit. It also comes with the Light Radio 2 SE. The best thing about this radio is it has built-in ELRS. So, so you can actually use this with any other ELRS compatible drone and that's really nice now this isn't there isn't anything special about this remote you got your four switches i labeled them up here for the beginners i wish that would have been done by beta fpv but not a big deal easy enough to do um, and it's a simple gamepad style remote so yeah it absolutely gets the job done it like everything else in this kit usb-c to charge it and actually can connect this to your computer and use it with simulators so you can kind of learn to fly and that's actually what i would suggest you do before you even bust out this aquila 16. get some time in on a sim and uh, really kind of refine those skills then get flying the best part about this kit isn't the drone, it's this radio and these goggles because you can use these with other drones. So if you decide to get something a little more agile, like, you know, one of these uh, Beta FPV quads, you absolutely can. And I can fly this with this radio as well. And absolutely, yes, it'll show that picture on these goggles too. Now, I personally would prefer to fly a Beta FPV drone like this, Meteor 75 Pro, 
over this Aquila 16. But again, I'm not a beginner. And if I started on this, I can absolutely move to something like this that's a little bit quicker, a little more agile. We'll do acro better. Actually, we'll do racing better. Lots of advantages to this guy in my right hand on your left here. So uh, something to consider. And you know what? This thing will fit in that package just as well also. Now, there are some concerns I have about this drone because it has all these extra internals. That means they can go wrong. And I found that to be the case with their older iteration, the Cetus Pro. Uh, this also had that altitude hold, but it just at some point stopped working for me. And I fear that could be the case here. Now, I only have a couple of flights on this. I have uh, probably seven or eight batteries with my drone team as well. And it's still working, right? But um, whatever their extra things on the drone, you have to worry about extra things going wrong. So there's that. Plus, for whatever reason, it doesn't fly on race band. And if you fly with other people, you want to be on race band. Now you can kind of get around it uh, by choosing the right B channel, but that's kind of obnoxious. I don't know why Beta FPV made that choice. Everything should just fly on race band one through eight. It makes everyone's lives better. Is this a good beginner kit? Absolutely. Is it a good beginner drone? Yes. Uh, will you probably upgrade in the future from this to something else? Yeah, but that's okay. That's kind of how this hobby works. It is hard to find all these components for $250, which is what you get here. You get the drone, you get the case, the goggles, the remote, charger, two batteries, everything you need to get going. That's a deal. And then you can, you know, kind of upgrade components as you go. Now there are other options out there. There's the Hisenji Stargazer, which also has altitude control. So that's kind of cool. I think that one's about $300. And Emacs has some Tiny Hawk kits. Uh, those are more for racing and performance um, and they run on a race band. So if that's something you want to do and fly with people, I would recommend that one. Anyway, what do you think about this drone? Let me know in the comments down below. Good luck, everyone, and happy flying.